हेलो गाइस नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू एंड्रॉइड ट्रिक्स आई नो आई एम लेट टू द ट्रेंड बट यस आई इंस्टॉल्ड एंड्रॉइड पी ऑन माय डिवाइस एंड आई हैव बीन यूजिंग इट फॉर अ वीक नाउ आई एम सरप्राइज्ड दैट इवन दो इट्स द फर्स्ट डेवलपर बिल्ड इट्स क्वाइट स्टेबल फॉर डेली यूजेज सो इफ यू हैव अ पिक्सल डिवाइस लाइंग अराउंड एंड वांट टू ट्राई इट आउट गो अहेड एंड डू दैट विदाउट एनी हेजिटेशन विद दैट बीइंग सेड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद माय टॉप 10 न्यू फीचर्स ऑफ एंड्रॉइड पी Starting off with the first new feature that is the pattern overhaul on the lock screen. Now the pattern fades away as soon as you go to the next dot and it's really handy if you have a simple password. But if you're someone who has set the pattern like this, you don't have to worry about it as people would not get your pattern even while looking at it. The second change you'll notice is that the dock and the search bar is more prominent on the home screen. Both the dock and the search bar has a light background which makes it stand out from the rest of the screen. The next change is the new icon styles which is available in the settings of the Pixel launcher. You can choose between default, square, rounded square, quirkle or teardrop and it will mask all the icons to that shape. Since the launch of Android Marshmallow, Google has been changing the notification panel in every Android update, and they haven't missed out this time as well. Now the icons look more iOS-ish, and they have a blue accent, which actually looks really clean. One thing to note is that the settings has been removed from the first drop-down, and you'll only be able to access it when you expand the notification. And you'll also notice that now the expanded notifications has the vertical scroll, which is. very natural compared to the horizontal scrolling which was available earlier you'll also notice that you cannot go into the sub menu of wifi or bluetooth which i really miss in the android p but well it's the first developer preview and let's hope things might not be the same in the final version going into the settings you'll see the most visible change they have added colorful icons which i really hate this makes it look more like a skin than the vanilla android which i have been used to loving But it's going to stay and I'll have to adopt it and so will you if you hate this. What do you think about this new settings page? Do you like the colorful icons or not? Would it right here just for the sake of it even though we know nothing's going to change and it's going to stay here for good. Moving on to the app settings, you'll notice that the apps menu now show the recently used applications before it shows the complete menu of the apps you have. I wish they showed the entire list of the apps in recently used order. It would make it easy for the users to uninstall the apps just by visiting the list. Moving on to the battery, they have changed quite a lot over here. You cannot see the battery graph in here as well as you don't have the option to see the battery used by individual apps. They have also renamed the battery saving option to reduce power mode and finally when you turn on the battery saving mode it doesn't add the orange bar at the top and the bottom of the screen. In the advanced setting of the display theme you'll see an unimaginable option of the device theme where you can add a notch to your smartphone. Yes since all the Android OEMs seems to be following essential smartphone and going with the notch they have added this feature to build apps around it. Also you'll notice that the no notch setting is named as pixel theme which makes me feel that the pixel 3 would not have the notch but I can't be sure as they also did this One thing which was always super confusing even for me was the do not disturb mode on Android and they have worked on it to make it simple this time It's a simple turn on and off feature now and you don't have any priority alarms only settings which was really confusing. They have also changed the volume button to change the media volume instead of the ring volume which I am sure no one changes that often. The whole control volume has been shifted to the right side making it simpler for one hand usage and the toggle to switch your phone between ring to vibrate to mute is as perfect as it can get. They have also added quite a few options in the accessibility settings from which the most useful according to me is the option to turn off the animations which was earlier hidden in the developer options. Android P also has its own screenshot editing tool which allows you to make doodles and crop the screenshot via the markup application. It's pretty sad to see that the screen recording and the scrolling screenshot feature is still not available on the stock Android. Coming to the last feature for this video it is the magnifying tool which allows you to do this. It's not a deal breaker but it's definitely helpful when 
you actually use it so that's pretty much for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit that like button and i'll also be coming up with the giveaway of the headphones which i showed on my instagram story recently so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when i upload that giveaway video so that's pretty much for this video see you guys in the next one